Jesus taught a lot about eternity and he taught a lot about grace. And then he linked the two together in a way that shows that it's God's grace that gets us into eternity and our own lack of grace that might keep us out. More than anything else, Jesus taught about this thing called the kingdom of God, the, the dominion of God, the presence and power of God with us here and now. And theologically, philosophically, Jesus made it seem like the most important concept in the kingdom of God was an idea that we often refer to as grace, which is a sort of moral generosity, an aggressive sort of forgiveness. Grace doesn't say that there are no moral standards. It's not relativism. Grace just says that moral standards are not necessarily the most important thing in God's eyes. Or to put it a different way, the most important moral standard is the standard of grace and forgiveness. It's kind of ironic that the main opposition to the ministry of Jesus did not come from sinful people or from people foreign to the tradition of the one true God. His opposition mainly came from religious people. The spirit of religion says, you have to do things the right way to appease God. The Spirit of Grace says, God loves you and He's with you now and He'll help you do what's best so you don't hurt anybody. The Spirit of Religion is often based on fearfulness. The Spirit of Grace is based on a, a generous confidence. Grace has so many implications for the way we think about God and treat each other and minister to the world. And one of the things Grace does is that it changes the way we think about God's judgment. Because it turns out that Jesus did teach about judgment a lot. He taught about it seriously. But he didn't say, do everything right or you will be condemned. He essentially said, you show grace and generosity and forgiveness always. Otherwise, you might be too corrosive for eternity. You might have to be destroyed. It's odd and, and maybe a bit poetic that Jesus' teachings on judgment would be tied to his teachings on grace and generosity. I guess it tells you something about what God thinks is vitally important. And it makes me ask the question, how serious am I about grace? <laughs>